overheated brakes on a police charger, the suspect's hilarious excuses, and the consequences of speeding. Enjoy the show. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. I'd be happy to respond to your comments below the video. On October 4th, 2023, at approximately 2.49 a.m., I, Trooper Jackson's shoemate, observed a silver passenger car traveling at a high rate of speed on U.S. Highway 67. I paced the vehicle at 120 miles per hour and initiated a traffic stop on it. After activating my emergency lights and sirens, the vehicle took exit 2 and began to flee from me. I attempted to perform a tactical vehicle intervention on the vehicle after turning east onto Keel Avenue before ending Head Drive, but I was unsuccessful. The vehicle almost lost control and wrecked, but managed to gain control and got back onto the Highway 67 by driving across the grass. I followed them through the grass, and then they cut back across the grass onto the frontage road. The vehicle continued towards McCain Boulevard and turned west towards McCain Mall. They crossed back on the front road from the ditch. They then turned into the McCain Mall parking lot. I followed, but lost control of my patrol vehicle and slid into the McCain Mall concrete sign. Standard problem of bad brakes on police chargers that overheat after two aggressive brake sessions. Blue mail, we got three males running out. On the... I struck the sign with my left front quarter. The impact caused my left front tire to blow out. The suspect vehicle then circled around the Chipotle restaurant multiple times. I then observed three males exit the vehicle and flee on foot. The driver surrendered in the Chili's parking lot, and I was able to take him into custody. North Little Rock officers were able to locate Trayvon Jackson, one of the occupants, and placed him into custody. 
Mr. Jackson had a theft by receiving felony warrant at a Pulaski County Sheriff's Office, which was confirmed. On September 27, 2023, at approximately 6.31 p.m., Trooper Killian was patrolling Interstate 30 West at 65th Street when I observed a white Hyundai Elantra bearing license plate APT85E traveling in the middle lane decreased its speed tremendously. I positioned myself in the right lane and decreased my speed. When I initiated my emergency lights, the vehicle passed the Shell station along with multiple parking lots. I initiated my emergency siren and the vehicle increased speed to approximately 68 miles per hour in a 40 mile per hour zone. Stop where my lights are. Yeah. You don't. You don't. You don't start running. I'm not running, sir. You are running. I'm trying to. I was on the phone with my dad. I got weed and I got a gun. Okay. The gun is on the floor in the car. The weed is in the car. Hey. Light. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. I'm pulling you over because you're driving the left lane with no insurance. After placing Jones in handcuffs, I read Jones's Miranda warning and I patted him down and located two bags containing a green leafy substance along with a scale in the pocket of his shorts. I placed Jones in the back of my car and began to inventory the vehicle. I located one more small baggie containing a green leafy substance and a Beretta firearm in the driver's seat. This chase begins when the Jeep was speeding and refused to stop. Everyone was waiting for a policeman with a dashboard recorder who was the only one certified to perform a pit maneuver. The suspects were arrested and taken to the police station. Have a great day and thank you for watching.